Hello everyone, it's Vicky here today designing for Bramble Fox and I am using some of the February perspectives for um, Valentine's Day and I thought I would do a bit of a love theme. Um, so I love my dog. <laughs> I do in fact love my husband too but he doesn't go in photos very often. So today we're uh, scrapping Buster and I pulled out my Coco Vanilla um, Daydream collection and I thought I would do some circles. So I'm just punching out three different sizes of circles from each of the papers that I've chosen. And um, yeah, circles is always a good way to start when you're not really sure what you're going to do. I thought about doing hearts, but um, I didn't have enough heart size punches, so we went with circles. So um, there we go, I've got three different types of punches there, all sorts of different punches. I like those little squeezy handle ones, they work really well. Okay, so I've punched out my circles and now I'm thinking about my background and I'm going to go with white because I don't want to busy this up too much. And this is water, um, watercolour cardstock, so it's specifically for watercolour. I don't, I'm not going to do a lot of paint on it but um, it just saves me having to put gesso on really. So this is my idea, I'm going to put some... Um, circles up and down the page and arrange my photo. Um, I'm not really entirely sure how it will look yet but sort of like that. And I decided to cut out some rainbows and add those to the circles. So I'm going to skip through that in a moment but um, you'll get the idea of it. So I just cut out, cut out several. I don't use all of the ones I actually ultimately cut out but um, I decide that they're quite sweet placed around the page with the circles as well. So that's what I have at the moment. I'm just going to have a quick look through the embellishment pieces that I've got left and see if there's anything there that shouts out to me, so circle wise. Okay, so I'm going to move it all off and this is where I'm going to do some mixed media. And I've got three colours of, um, <clears throat> excuse me, Lindy's Magical. So I've got Fuzzy Naval Peach, Jana's Jade, and Cocklebell's Coral. So this is the fuzzy navel peach colour and I'm just going to draw, paint some rainbows. I think I do five or six rainbows. So I'm just doing the peach colour and then I'll start to add the other colours in. Yeah, so six rainbows there. And then I'm going to move on to the next colour, the Cocklebell's Cockle Coral and do my next stripe for the rainbow. So they're all going to be slightly different. I'm going to put the colours in different orders on each one, depending on how the the uh, coral colour, the fuzzy navel peach sits. So yeah, this one it's going to go inside, some it will go outside, and then I'll do the same thing with the blue. So I managed to do mixed media without getting any on my clothes today, but um, I did get it all over my hands. <laughs> my hands were very sparkly because these magicals have got sort of like a, a shimmer shimmer to them. So, um, so yeah, I uh, got a bit, a bit sparkly, which is always nice. Okay, so we're going with the blue. And as you can see, some will be on the inside, some will be on the outside. So they're all sort of different, different... Um, colours. The colours are in different order is what I mean. So the watercolour paper really helps with this because I haven't added an enormous amount of water but it just handles what I have. If I did this just onto plain cardstock then it would probably warp the paper a little bit but this there was no warping at all on this watercolour paper. I actually get the watercolour paper from Amazon and it's um, it comes in 12 by 18 inch packs and I just cut it down to 12 by 12. And then the strip that comes from it, I sometimes use for stamping or or just for um, little pieces of mixed media. And it works really well. <clears throat> or to take notes on when I'm working. <laughs> because I haven't got my pad to hand. <laughs> Always have craft items, right? Okay, so sometimes, sometimes I'm taking notes with a Sharpie on a piece of watercolour paper. So, you know, <laughs> it's all good. So I'm just reassembling here and um, I'm just thinking that it's a little bit too busy at the moment um, for what I want to do but I wanted to just sort of see. 
I try out this little um, crepe paper rainbow, but I can't make it work on there. It's just a little bit bulky for what I want to do with it. So I, I don't use that. Okay, so now I'm just playing around, figuring out how things are going to go. I'm a bit happier with that. Um, as I said, I don't actually use all the rainbows, but what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put, put some paint on each of the circles, just a little bit. This is where my fingers get all dirty. I'm just going to put a bit around the edge of each just to give it sort of more of a distressed dimensional look. Um, I thought about distressing the edges, but um, I decided to do this instead, and I'm really happy that I did. It just adds a lot more depth to the colour. So that was the um, Jana's Jade colour. And then, uh, oops, I did a wrong mix there. I started to mix up the blue by mistake with the uh, coral. <laughs> so I'm going to put the coral around these pinky ones. And also around the brown wood effect ones. I'm going to add a bit of the coral as well. And then I've just got the peach to add around the yellow ones. So there, I showed you my fingers there very briefly. But they were very sparkly. I'm sure Buster has um, sparkle on him too because he would have definitely been wanting a rub while I was uh, doing this. <laughs> he usually comes up to me for some love in the middle. Okay, so I've got those. I'm going to start to reassemble yet, yet again. Hope you're not getting bored of that. Oh no, first of all I'm going to do some splatters. So I'm going to use this, uh, this is the coral colour, I think, Cockle Bell's coral. So I'm going to do some, I did some natural splatters and now I'm doing some fake big splatters. And then I'm going to use the Janus Jade as well and do some bluey aqua type colours. Janice Jade sort of indicates that it's green, but I think it's more blue than green. I guess it's it's on the it's on the green side of blue. <laughs> Let's go there. Okay, so again I'm doing the same thing, some natural splatters and then some fake splatters, which I like to do so that I've got some bigger ones. Okay, I'm thinking about arranging that and then I think I best dry those splatters before I do that, otherwise I'm going to make a big mess. So there we go. Right, so back to the layering. And you can see now with the paint around the edges and the splatters, it just adds a bit more texture to the page. So I'm just going to try and figure out where to put the photo. And I think it fits naturally there. And I like how that looks. Buster's facing over one way and I'm facing over the other. But Buster's the main theme of this layout, really. So um we're going with him. He's looking over towards the rainbows and the circles. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, so I'm going to start to stick things down. I'll skip through in a bit, but I'm sticking all the big circles flat, and then I'm going to raise the other ones up onto dots, except that yellow one above the photo, which tucks under, so I do actually lay that one flat. But um, this just adds another bit of dimension to the layout. And, uh, yeah, I'm really pleased with how that turned out. So you can still see the rainbows, they're not the total focal part of the page, but you can still see them, so I like that. So I'm just going to add in these two floral die cuts that were in the um, uh, the embellishments, in the die cuts. And then I'm going to use this um, little card here. I think this came off of the cut apart originally, and I just put it in there because I'd cut it out. And I just like that it's got the yellow and the blue on it. Um, just to add a bit of interest there with the yellow at the top, the yellow dot at the top and the blue at the bottom sort of pulls that together. I'm not making much sense here, but I am in my own head. <laughs> so I'm going to stick that down and I'm going to stick that little bit of frame to the back as well, just for an extra layer. And that fits there. I think about using another of these die cuts, but it doesn't really work. It's not quite the right colour. Okay, so next I'm going to put some foam onto the back of the photo. This will um, just raise that off the page along with 
the dots that are raised just to add that again that dimension to the layout and then I'm coming back to the rainbows so what I decide to do is put a rainbow on here next to each of the rainbows that I can see I actually miss one but I think that's better I, 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 it was too many before um, I just got a bit rainbow happy but um, but I'm happy with this so I'm just going to stick those up on foam as well just to add a bit of dimension except for the one that's going to go under the photo on the left I, and the one that goes under the perspective title those are going to stay flat there we go so the, the, the loop of the V goes into the rainbow and I quite like that I think that looks quite sweet I'm going to stick that down and then I'm going to stick my photo down getting quite near to the end now so I'm going to cut out some flowers from this big piece of paper here just three individual flowers which I'll skip through a pink one a blue one and a yellow one just to add a bit of extra floral dimension to this and I do love florals it's very rare I do a layout that doesn't include a floral so there we go and I'm just going to stick those flat but just bend the petals up a little bit for the dimension there we go that that one's actually on top of a raised circle so it's not flat then I want to add this little charm love in as well and um, I didn't type, put anything through the loop but I might do that later um, before I put it in my album because um, just to finish that off and then what you don't see is I add bug to my title with one of the alphas from my stash so that's the finished layout I hope it gives you some inspiration for your perspectives this month and um, I'd love to hear what you think please do leave any questions in the comments this has been Vicky for Bramble Fox thank you for watching bye bye